The Top 5 Wonderful Wildlife Sanctuaries in the World A wildlife sanctuary is an area where animal habitats and their surroundings are protected from any sort of disturbance. The capturing, killing and poaching of animals is strictly prohibited in these regions. So let us begin with the number 5th wonderful wildlife sanctuary in the world. Wichio Community Hippo Sanctuary, Ghana. Along the inlets and crevices of African rivers lurk some of the world's most dangerous animals. Hippos kill an estimated 2,900 people in Africa per year. They are easily frightened and quick to react, which means they also need to be protected. In Ghana, there are only two hippo populations left and one of them resides in the upper west region on a 40 km span of the Black Volta River. In this region, the Wichio Community Hippo Sanctuary, created by local chiefs in 1999, allows visitors to view the river's hippos safely while learning about the importance of hippo conservation. The number fourth wonderful wildlife sanctuary in the world. Tiritiri Matangi Open Sanctuary, New Zealand. This sanctuary is also a conservation project. In the 1980s conservationists spent 10 years restoring the island, used as farmland in previous decades, to its natural habitat in hopes of bringing back native species. Their hard work paid off. Today, the island is an open sanctuary, where endangered species, like the vibrant Takahe, are thriving in their natural setting again. To get here you can take a ferry from Auckland and make sure to check your shoes and the biosecurity notices because the sanctuary's staff work hard to protect native bird species and other natural inhabitants from invasive pests. You can birdwatch and hike the island looking for little spotted kiwis, takahes, and tuatara. The number third wildlife sanctuary in the world. Sloth Sanctuary of Costa Rica. Founded in 1992. Founded in 1992, the Sloth Sanctuary of Costa Rica is the world's first sloth rescue center. Made internationally famous in the animal planet, Meet the Sloths series, the center cares for injured, orphaned and abandoned sloths. Tours are offered to educate the public about these enigmatic predator. Man affects the future of their species. The two types of Costa Rican sloths are Bradipus variegatus, three-fingered, and Cholopus hoffmani, two-fingered. Both have three toes, it's their fingers that distinguish them. Bradipus and Cholopus are actually two entirely separate slow-moving, tree-dwelling, leaf-eating mammals. Their extreme slowness is due to their unique metabolism and physical adaptations for survival in the rainforest. Scientists at the Sloth Sanctuary revealed that sloths experience tachycardia when held by unfamiliar handlers, this can cause premature death. Sloths are also vulnerable to illness when exposed to outside microbes and allergens. This is why tour guests are able to see rescued sloths up close but without touching or holding them. Tours include a canoe ride to see the sloth's natural rainforest habitat. Human encroachment into this habitat is the single most avoidable threat to the future of the species. The number second wildlife sanctuary in the world. Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary, Australia. I had the opportunity to visit a very nice zoo in Queensland, Australia several years ago. The zoo boasted that it was one of the few places left which allows visitors to hold koalas. I watched as several of my peers opted in for photos holding the sleepy little marsupials. The koalas however, were not as delighted. Koalas sleep about 22 hours each day and being woken up to take selfies with tourists is not their idea of fun. Holding a koala is still a big tourism drive so many zoos allow visitors to pay extra to hold koalas. This generates needed income for communities and zoos that have few other economic opportunities. Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary has strict guidelines to protect koalas' sleeping patterns. Koalas can only be held for no more than 30 minutes during the day. So they can sleep for a solid 23.5 hours if they want. The number first wildlife sanctuary in the world. Elephant Nature Park, Thailand. Lek is known as, the Elephant Whisperer, 
She began the Elephant Nature Park 20 years ago as a safe haven for the majestic animals. Elephants in the area are mistreated in the tourism and logging industries in Thailand. Elephants thrive at the rescue and rehabilitation sanctuary Lek created and works hard to maintain. Some come with dislocated hips, and scars from bull horns, hooks stabbed into an elephant's ear by a trainer to teach tricks, and are free from a life of pain for the first time. At Elephant Nature Park you can feed and visit with these animals or help give them a mud bath, but you won't see any painting, dancing, or giving rides. A large part of visits include learning about the past of each elephant as well. If you're going to see any elephants in Thailand, skip the shows and head to the Elephant Nature Park where elephants roam free 24-7.